our understanding and the way to treat frozen shoulder has dramatically changed frozen shoulder is a condition characterized by painful stiffness that affects thousands every year though the exact cause is unknown the process is an inflammatory reaction that results in scarring and fibrosis of the joint capsule resulting in pain and stiffness the old approach used to be physiotherapy lot of medicines and occasional injections and manipulations this often took months and months of pain for the patient now we know that early control of inflammation within the joint gives the patient pain relief as well as the ability to do the exercises the injection is a locally acting anti-inflammatory cortisone that controls inflammation it is safe and it is given using a painless technique as shown in the video this is a left frozen shoulder bony outlines are marked for restoration the joint line can be palpated over a soft spot approximately 2 cm medial and 2 cm inferior to the posterior medial corner of the acromion the skin and the soft tissues are infiltrated with local anesthesia with lignocaine the coracoid is palpated with the other hand once the soft tissues are infiltrated adequately a 20g spinal needle is used to enter the joint a useful tip would be to rotate the arm if the needle is against the humeral head we would be able to feel the movements and if the needle is too medial we won't be able to feel the movement as you can see the direction of the needle is too medial and the direction is changed one may notice a slight give away as you enter the joint capsule the local anesthetic ropivacaine is injected now and if the needle is inside the joint one may notice a nice backflow of fluid out of the needle this backflow confirms the position of the needle inside the joint then the joint is injected with a cortisone triumphs in alone in this case joint injections in my opinion should be the first step in the management of frozen shoulder it avoids countless hours of painful therapy is cost effective and it can save thousands in unnecessary treatment modalities thank you very much